Namaste and welcome back to VLSO for all YouTube channel. Today we are proud to have with us our testimonial student, Mr. Shivam Srivastav, who is currently working as an FPGA engineer. Uh, let us uh, dive into this testimonial interview and uh, know from the student himself how VLSO for all is uh, uh, teaching, uh, like what are his experiences and would he recommend uh, to his juniors and fellow mates. Uh, good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening, absolutely fine, Anurag. Yeah, uh, sir, uh, before we actually delve into the interview, uh, may I know your uh, academic qualification so that our audience might know you better? Okay, so talking about my educational qualification, I have done my graduation in Bachelor of Engineering at University Institute of Technology, Bardhavan, under Bardhavan University in Applied Electronics and Instrumentation. I completed my graduation in year 2000. 2020. Okay, so currently I am working at uh, Ministry of Defense under Indian Navy as a FPGA developer. So this is what my background about the education and where, where I'm working. Yes, sir. Uh, my second uh, question brings to, to you to the point that when and how did you join VLSA for All and what was your motivation behind joining? Because you're uh, like already okay. placed it as an FPGA engineer. Okay, so talking about the motive and why I joined VLSI for all, since I was passed in year 2020 itself, so there was a good search for which sector to choose because there are two prominent sectors where an where a engineering student can go for. Since I am an instrumentation engineer, so I think I can go for a software or for a hardware. So talking about the software, I, I did, uh, I worked for the software industry as well. But, uh, that, but the problem that over here is that I couldn't realize the true fact that what I'm doing is into the true aspect or not. So, so I took my motivation that hardware is the thing that I have done quite well in my engineering background. So I thought that will be the best to move forward. So talking about why VLSI for all. So I was in a search for a good place where mentors and uh, proper guidance is there. So uh, I have searched through many places. Uh, I went through many places, many, uh, many places. But the major reason of joining over here is the, uh, here is the cost efficiency. VLSI for all provides such a, provides the course in a, such a minimal amount that that anybody who is working as a mediocre student can afford the price of the co uh, price of the course. So that is why I joined here under RTL design uh, RTL design and verification engineer, and it took me around uh, it took me around approximately nine months to complete the syllabus. The reason why it took me nine months to complete the syllabus is very prominent because. I was already working as a working as a associate operations manager at one of our tech company. So working there and then uh, then doing my studies was a bit hectic for me. So it took more than nine months for me to complete the syllabus. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, moving on to the third question: How are the courses structured at VLSA for all, and what are the modules you have taken? Okay. So talking about the structures, talking about the structure. It was quite well framed and well mentored because each structure structure was given to us and a set of instruction was also given accordingly to it. So talking about how the flow went away, we started with digital. Digital was divided into uh, digital was divided into eight sections. So completing the digital, we had only one and a half month to complete the digital, but it took me a bit more for a bit, bit more time on completion of the digital. Moving forward, we went into very long. In Verilog, in Verilog, first we completed the surface structure of how the Verilog works and what is the reason behind using Verilog as a hardware description language. Then we came into the depth of the Verilog programming that what are, what all programming come under Verilog, how we can program a counter, how can program, program a, uh, program a flip-flop, how can we program different, different uh, registers and flip-flops and um, uh, latches. What are the uses of different different aspect? How how we can code in different different um, modeling structure? So that was done into Verilog, and there was an added added course to it. The diff different section of the programs under Verilog itself. So there was two two modules under Verilog. Then moving forward, we completed uh, completed the aspect of uh, aspect of signaling. So it was divided divided into three sectors: CDC, that is clock domain crossing. Second was meta stability, meta stability. Third was low power consumption design, low power consumption design, low power consumption design. And then we came for the analog part of it. Then we came, then we moved into the analog, analog design circuit. 
the analog design circuit was the fifth, uh, was the fourth thing that we, we were given. Moving forward, the fifth the fifth module that we were assigned was system Verilog. So how the system Verilog flows into that. So rest, we moved forward to UVM. UVM was quite well structured. All the methodologies and how the libraries are being used, it was quite well framed. UVM was quite uh, quite good to study at uh, VLSI forum. And that is why at the end we were given how, how what are the projects we can frame using Verilog, using system Verilog, UV, using UVM. So these are the flows that flows in the course starting from the digital ending at UVM. Okay, sir. So that brings me to the next question. How long uh, per day, like on a daily basis, did you allot to complete the course? And how long it would take for an ideal student to complete the entire course from basic scratch to uh, the job ready market? Okay. So so just, to, just a student who wants to join as a fresher, if he has a mindset of joining as a fresher, so it will take around six to seven months to complete the flow of the syllabus. But if you want to go into the depth and want to crack crack bigger institute like Cadence Synopsis, Cadence Synopsis, Qualcomm, Siemens, Mental Graphics, all those companies, you will take around nine months to go into the depth of each and every person that is being taught. This is the minimum time, maximum time that a student can go into the depth of the syllabus. And what was the follow-up question according to that? That how many time? And what is uh, the ideal question? Day. Yeah. Okay. So talking about my uh, my hours dedication, I was uh, I was able to allot three hours every day, three hours every day. That is from twelve a.m. in the night till three p.m. Uh, three a.m. in the morning. So this was a time. I was allotted. Uh, I, I was I was allotting for myself to complete the syllabus. So it varies from three hours to four hours. This was the maximum I can give from my end. Because since I was I was a working professional, so I had to get back to the work early morning. So I believe for an ideal student, if he is giving three hours maximum per day with with a continuity, I believe nine months is enough to go into the depth of the syllabus. So this this is the all. Yes, sir. That is very true, sir. The consistency is the key. Uh, also, uh, moving on. Uh, how are the like? How is the guidance provided by Rajat sir and his team? And how much are the teachers capable of teaching them? Are they industry? Okay. Relevant? Okay. So talking about Rajat sir, he is quite an absolute mentor for a beginner. Truly speaking, if you are not aware about how to start with VLSI industry, he is a perfect mentor to start with. He will mentor and guide you at every step where you are going down. What are the points you need to take care? And what are the syllabus you can minimize from your end? He has given all the techniques as to how to proceed to a particular syllabus or how to proceed to a particular problem. So I believe the amount of time he has given me as a person is quite well appreciated. I am nowhere saying that even though he he was running the whole company, but the amount of time he gave me was very much very much enough for me to mentor and guide me and let me work at one of the one of the top institute of uh, of India. I'm working at Indian Navy, so I believe this is one of the premium institute I can I can afford for. And talking about the trainers, so starting with the trainers, uh, the very long trainers was quite good. The, the digital trainers were quite good. The very long trainers were quite good. The CBC, meta stability, and all the structure, uh, structure thing, the low power design circuit and analogs were quite good. Analog framework was quite good. But I time so and UVM, UVM was quite well structured, no doubt on UVM. So on UVM trainers were quite good. There were uh, two different uh, trainers uh, for UVM, and both were performing too good. I was able to coordinate uh, coordinate well with the recorded lectures, and I felt that that is enough for a student to cover up UVM. Uh, very log system very log that was enough that is enough and talking about the tools that we were allowed to work he mentored in mentored good rajat sir mentored good into which tool the co standard companies work with he taught uh, he told us that xilinx is one of the best tool tool you can go for fpga vivado is one of the best tool you can go for fpga so you have to start working on the tools and he guided in a better way that these tool is to be working into this uh, this section the uh, difference of aspect into synthesis was given according to him. The difference of aspect into simulation was given to him. So it was quite well structured, I believe. 
Yes, sir. Thank you for that. Uh, coming to my last question, would you recommend uh, your juniors to be a part of ULSA for all and take training? Definitely, definitely. The reason why I would recommend a student, uh, recommend my fellow beans is that which, uh, I would come to a very basic aspect of today's engineering, today's engineering sector. I have felt that 80% of the majority students uh, who is under engineering sector for four-year graduation, if he is into any other sector, talking about CSC, IT, EC, electrical, uh, electrical, civil, mechanical, 80% of the student feels that software is the only industry that can save them. Or if they have completed the graduation, they can, they can rely on software industry and go with it. But the major fault that I have felt is that, that the majority of the student doesn't know about the hardware engineering as well. The, the process has been framed in such a way that the majority of the student only knows about the software aspect. But remaining 20% of the student only knows about the hardware aspect and how well it should be processed and the flow that has to be went to go for the software. And I believe I believe the YouTube and the social content which is available throughout the, uh, throughout the net, I believe there is a very less, uh, less content also available for hardware engineering. So I believe a, a student should choose this sector equally important because this is one of the best sector I believe that an engineering student can, can pursue. Developing a software is one thing, but developing a hardware and implementing and putting into a chip is totally a different aspect. That needs a high qualification and a mentored mind. If you are not being mentored properly, I believe the flow will go go bad or it will not come to the uh, come meet meet up to the requirement of the company so i believe uh, i would always recommend my fellow students and my and my juniors that hardware engineering should be taken as a profession and should be given equally importance as considered to the software industry as well so i would recommend a student to go go for vlsi for all why vlsi for all the major concern towards mine is that I believe I belong from a middle middle class background, and and the fact is that majority of the student working uh, studying into engineering falls into this category of a medium sector, and the amount that the VLSI for all is charging for the course, I believe there is no other no other I mean no other premium institute in India is offering these course at such a amount. I believe. Anybody who is who have a zeal to study hardware can afford VLSI for all at a minimal cost. So I will recommend recommend all the instrumentation engineers to go for these course. Yes, that's sir. all. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for uh, honest and uh, excellent uh, uh, testimonial feedback. We expect you to do a 40 minute full length interview sometime soon. Until then, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And uh, keep Thank learning. you, Anurag. Definitely.